Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is November 6, 2019, and this is a general love reading for the beginning of the month of November for Virgo. It can pertain to any kind of relationship you're dealing with, situations or circumstances. As always, take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Don't get too concerned about the gender of the cards or the pronouns I use. Be flexible with the energy. You can interchange the roles within the reading. It may feel like I'm reading directly to you. It can also feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. So we're going to get started right away, Virgo. I have pre-shuffled all of my decks. Let me give it one more shuffle and a cut. And we're going to get started and see what's going on for Virgo today. Here we go. In your underlying energy, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Clarified by death. Eight of Wands, paired with Six of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse, Four of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. get my next deck going here for a go. So it, it looks like um, you want to bring an end to maybe some uh, mental internal conflict that you're dealing with. I feel like this is something that maybe was um, <clears throat> external at some point, maybe some arguing or some um, conflict with somebody or a group of people that um, subsided, but now it's gone inward and you, you've been kind of had it, you've had it on your mind, but you're wanting to um, put that to rest, let it go, bring an end to it. And that may be through some communication, through taking some action, And I believe at this point in time, um, it feels like, Virgo, like you're trying to set aside the emotions and maybe go at this from a neutral standpoint. Maybe so you can rebuild, reestablish some um, stability within a relationship or a situation that you're dealing with and try again for success. That's what I'm getting off of this first set of cards. I do feel like you have the Queen of Cups energy in reverse. Sometimes this can be somebody who is overly sensitive, maybe has some inappropriate emotions, maybe is overly clingy. This can indicate um, you know, some really bad um, energy, including like a vampire, uh, energy vampire, um, somebody who, who, um, takes things too far. Um, <clears throat> is not real grounded with their emotions. But paired with the Six of Swords, to me this is just releasing the emotions of the situation, letting that emotional aspect um, go in order to face the problem head on with maybe more um, of a neutral standpoint so that something can get resolved. It feels like a, it feels like a healthy energy. It feels like you're trying to release something that may have been unhealthy in order to come to terms with something that's been causing you some mental conflict. And it looks like communication is on your mind or act, at least taking action in some way, shape or form to maybe reestablish a connection or try again. So let's see what else we have here. So we have the Magician um, clarifying the Five of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> and Death is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there was definitely some kind of breakup or um, disharmony within a connection or within a family that's caused this internal conflict.
and it's just time it's time to make a move it's time to come to terms with things it's time to take steps forward and I do feel like you've made this decision Virgo to go after this full force and have some success this is an emotional matter regarding at least um, a relationship, if not more than one. It does feel like it could be connected to a family situation. And I feel like you've become clear on the, on the fact that you just need to leave your emotions at the door in order to face this head on, like I said. Approach this in a different manner so that you can make things work again. So you may have come to terms, Virgo, with <clears throat> the fact that your emotions may have been getting in the way of resolution regarding this matter. And again, um, walking away from that emotional aspect in order to see things more directly, clearly, from a neutral standpoint so that you can um, see all perspectives instead of just your own maybe. You've been kind of mulling this over in your head for quite some time. I think you've made a very clear decision to take control of this internal conflict once and for all and bring an end to it. Bring an end to this disharmony. There might be separation with somebody or a group of people Who are involved in this conflict who are also maybe dealing with some some internal struggles and I feel like you just you've come to terms with the fact that it's just time it's time to take action there's no there's no more there's no excuse for not taking action you can't you can't defend just sitting on your butt stewing over this right Virgo you I mean, somebody's got to take control. And you've made a really strong decision to do so. And not only to take control, but to have success with this decision that you've made. It's some pretty strong energy, Virgo. It feels like you are taking the reins and saying, okay, fuck it. If nobody else is going to do anything, then I'll stand up and do it. <clears throat> I'll be the one. I'll be the bigger person. So it feels like you're saying, I'll be the bigger person and I'll approach. I'll open the door for communication. I'll be the first one to concede and say, okay, let's try to make this work instead of standing around acting like everybody else is to blame. When it comes to disharmony within a relationship, right, everybody plays a part. It's never just one person's fault. I mean, a lot of times there is a single person who can take the majority of the blame, but it's never completely 100% just one person's blame, right? So the Nine of Wands clarifying the Five of Wands in reverse, Nine of Swords in the upright clarifying death. So there's definitely been a lot of mental anguish, um, a lot of dwelling, dwelling on this, thinking about it nonstop, feels like it's been on your mind constantly getting to the point where it may be debilitating, it's affecting your day-to-day -day life, that you can't rid these thoughts of this, you know, whatever's gone on within this um, relationship or relationships. <clears throat> feels like a group of people, and it feels like you might be reuniting in order to... Um, Resolve some issues. There's the Five of Wands again, clarifying the Four of Wands in reverse. Four, uh, five of Wands is in reverse. So whatever this was, it affected the stability of the relationship. Or relationships, like I said. And you want to start again. You want to start fresh. I do feel like there's a feeling that um, the love is still there. Um, the connection is still there. There is still s definitely something to work with. 
it hasn't it hasn't gone away due to whatever conflict you've been dealing with but the um, it's more about the mental anguish and the mental suffering that has um, kept you at a standstill and that needs to come to an end so here's all this mental anxiety I and mean, that's pretty severe and wanting to put an end, end to it once and once and for all you feel like you're at your wits end at this point in time maybe feeling like you need to wrap yourself up in a straight jacket and go into a padded cell in order to i mean that would be the only other option right virgo if you don't face this head on slap a straight jacket on me and send me to my padded cell because this is all i can take this is all i can do and nobody else it doesn't feel like there's anybody else who's willing to to say okay i've got the balls i'll i'm gonna go i'm gonna be the person who stands up and makes this happen but virgo says i'll do it fuck it i can do this shit i've got i've got the balls male or female females can have the balls to stand up and get the get the job done where nobody else is willing to right good job virgo way to go taking a chance to be the bigger man, bigger person. It's time. Cards are saying it's time, so you're doing definitely doing the right right thing based on what I can see so far, Virgo. <clears throat> I don't have anybody else's energy except I do have the 3 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. So it feels like it could be a family situation or a group dynamic. You're coming back together with a group of people maybe where there was some conflict, some issues, um, something that has caused a little instability in the relationship or in the home. If this was something like a separation or divorce, it feels like um, you, you're feeling the need to reconcile and come back together and come to terms with some things that, that went awry and face the problems head on and deal with them. So let's see what else we get with this last set of cards here, Virgo. Clarifying the Magician, we have the Hanged Man in Reverse. Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Knight of Cups. Three of Wands star moon in reverse and the world world in the upright position clarifying the world in the reverse so it's it's time to try to start over again it's time to make things happen it's trying time to to rev the engine and get things going again and try to make something work at the same time closing out the conflict bringing one cycle to a close the angst the mental anguish the hardships the drama the fighting and then open up a new chapter with something that's going to work something that's going to be fruitful for everybody bring back the harmony maybe at the same time release some secrets Put everything out on the table when you approach with a sincere and genuine desire to mend things in order to stabilize this relationship and make things work again. Because you've been plagued with the mental anxiety way too long. And like I said, I feel like it's been affecting your life in ways that it shouldn't. You know, your day-to-day, -day, you're going to work. What are you thinking about? Not work. You're thinking about the drama. You're thinking about this disconnection. You're thinking about the conflict. I think that, um, you know, at least through this, this period of time, Virgo, where you've had to do a lot of thinking, you've come to terms with the fact that if you remove the emotional aspect of whatever's been happening between you and another person or a group of people and just look at the truth 
just face this conflict with the truth and nothing but, there's hope. There's genuine hope for things to work out. <clears throat> you want to leave behind this idea that, that there is no hope? That the love is lost? You're not coming in with this from an emotional, like I said, from an emotional perspective. You're coming in from this with a neutral perspective. You've made the decision to remove emotions from the equation. You know, this isn't about asking for forgiveness or saying, oh, I love you, I love you, please don't leave me or come back or whatever. You know, that's, it's not about, you know, coming to terms with who is right and who is wrong. This is about facing the music. It's just time. It's time. Everybody has dropped the ball in this situation. Everybody has had some kind of failure, some kind of fault in this matter. And the time has come for fast movement towards communication with everybody involved. Reconciliation, reuniting, celebrating the fact that there is an opportunity for a new start. This is feeling really positive, Virgo. I'm gonna to have to say though, I at this point in time, I don't have anybody else's energy on the table and I'm, I'm at my last round of cards. It's all about you. It's all about you taking the reins and being the strong one. Again, being the one who's decided that you've got enough, enough, um, the, you know, you're the bigger person. You're the one who's gonna stand up and, and take the reins and, and go for it because you've just had enough of the, the mental anguish that's gone along with whatever this was for you, this breakup or conflict. So let, let me get my last round out. We'll look at these cards a little bit more and see if I can't get any more information for you. <clears throat> nine, nine of swords came out again. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start here at the end, and the outcome. I've already shown you these cards, but what we're looking at here is this mental anguish has blocked this the love that makes the relationship work. Whatever happened related to the conflict or the emotional angst that you've been dealing with um, has caused you a considerable amount of anxiety and mental angst that has it blocked you from moving forward and it's time to close this chapter and time trying time to open a new one time to open a new one um you know you may have walked away from a situation you may have you know left a family home or separated for some from someone that you love or a group of people that you love and again this has disrupted the stability and the harmony within this relationship or this family dynamic and it's, it hasn't just caused um mental angst for you Everybody involved is experiencing this, and I think that's part of the that those that's part of the secret is that I think you know a lot of people who are in conflict within a relationship or in family a family dynamic like to pretend oh this isn't affecting me, this is no big deal this is all this is all Virgo's deal they're the ones who have to that's not that's not how it is everybody is dealing with wanting to make things work but nobody's willing to to step forward because there's too many <clears throat> too many people looking at the emotions involved and not enough people doing what you're doing and saying it's time to remove the emotions from this equation because that's not working. What we've been doing isn't working. And if you just set that aside and you start looking at the truth and you start putting the truth out on the table, then we have hope 
for reconciliation and to repair the situation that we're dealing with. And Virgo has figured this out. Nicely done, Virgo. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Yeah, when you had when you when the emotions were in the mix, um, it was nothing but failure after failure. Nobody was seeing any results. You weren't having um, people weren't compromising, so there was no coming together. It <clears throat> it was a lot of people waiting for others to make the move. So and so's in the wrong, so I'm going to wait for that person to make the move because it's not my place. That person's at fault, so they have to be the one to come forward. Now, you coming forward is not you saying, you know, I'm at fault for this. That's you saying, I'm just ready to open the door and say, let's try to figure this out. And you walking away for a while, removing yourself from the situation, um, probably resulted in you having the opportunity to do a lot of self-reflection. You know, getting away from the hoo-ha, getting away from the banter, getting away from the noise, the static, the yelling, the fighting. When you walked away from that, you were able to see maybe a different perspective and what could be done. What, what can we try to fix? What can we do to try to fix this? And Virgo figured it out. You removed yourself from the, again, from the static, from the noise from the stuff that was distracting you in order to figure this out so that you could move forward. You figured it out, Virgo. You found the answers. Because hanging on to this, hanging on to the breakup and the, the hardships and the emotional responses to this, to this turmoil within this group or family unit or, or relationship, all it was doing was call it causing you mental anxiety, like I've said. There's a lot of that on this table. And where was that, where was that taking you? Nowhere. Chair in reverse. You were stuck. Stuck in nowhere mode. Stuck in let's just hang out and stew in this mode. And who the hell wants to do that? Right, Virgo? I admire you for taking this step. Good for you. You may have you may have realized through time that um, you know staying in this stagnant mode where nobody's making a move to come forward to fix things, <clears throat> to put everything out on the table, to be honest, to release the secrets, release the unknowns, to talk about it. With everybody doing that, there was no hope for um, any kind of movement forward. You might have been a done deal. You might as well have said, you know what? See you later. Never again. Right? Let's get you a Dreams of Gaia tarot card for a closing for our reading today, Virgo. Based on what I see in the reading, there it's really interesting. There were no other court cards that came out except for the Queen of Cups in reverse, which represents your energy. I mean, we had the knights, but for me, that's more about taking action and, and what kind of action you were taking. Um, we don't have any other kings or queens, emperor, empress, none of that. A couple pages. So this is all about you, Virgo, taking a stand, taking control, being the bigger person, male or female, having the balls to do it. I wish there were more people out there like you, Virgo. Sure would make this life a lot easier for people who just say, you know what? Let's remove the emotions. Let's remove our reactions. Let's remove, you know, who's hurt over what and who did what and the blame game. And let's look at what we've got here. Let's look at the truth. Let's lay everything out on the table and figure this shit out, says Virgo. Why can't more people be like you? I need a bunch of Virgos in my life. <laughs> Apparently. Just saying. Uh, it's not about me though, right Virgo? It's about you. 
maybe you can come over to my house and be my friend. Teach my family a few things. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My family could use some lessons from a Virgo. All right, this, these two won three. These three wanted to come out. I'm not going to read all of these. As if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm not familiar with the Streams of Gaia Tarot deck yet. Um, these are all in reverse. So we have Wisdom. I am going to... Actually, I just read... I just read these two yesterday. How interesting that they came out. So um, two of air, ten of earth, and then the wisdom card. I'm going to read the wisdom card, which came out in reverse. All of them came out in reverse. Um, so I'm going to display these. I'm going to show them to you in the upright and talk about them a little bit. Um, based on what I remember. So the two of air in reverse is the two of swords in reverse. But this card has a little bit of a different meaning. And as you can tell from the picture, it's about um, two, two sides coming together. Um, seeing that, that this duality is important in our lives in order to have unity. It is important for us to be different. It is important to see that, that, that Seeing both sides is important in order to come together. This one was in reverse. So I do believe that you're experiencing this right now where there's the separation because the two sides just are not coming together because people are not seeing that it's necessary to have differing point of, points of view to, to appreciate those different points of view, to appreciate that we are not all the same. And if you can do that, you can have unity. And then we had the Ten of Earth. This is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which of course came out in your underlying energy as well, in the reverse. So this, this card is similar to the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. And it is about, if it's in the reverse, um, what's going on in your life that is making you unhappy? What can you do to fix things? What can you do to improve what you already have to bring everything together to be completely fulfilled in your life? And um, I think that's relevant here for sure. Now the Wisdom card I am familiar with a little bit, but I haven't seen this one in a while. So I'm going to read this one from the book. And it did come out in the reverse, but I'll display it upright when I um, read it. And it's just a really short little paragraph. So in the reverse, sorry, that was ten of earth. Wrong card. Okay, Wisdom. So if it's in the reverse, it's considered a potential blockage. And here we go, Virgo. We all have a side to our nature that is not pretty or kind. Depending on one's perspective and point of view, we are all guilty of judging others, of being critical, of being selfish, and putting our own needs before the needs of others. We all possess the ability to be unkind, intolerant, and closed-minded. We have all had moments when we have been both dogmatic and bombastic. The Wisdom card in reverse asks you to accept these moments and understand their necessity or the loving necessity of the shadow, shadowy aspects of your nature. Otherwise, you will only see part of the lesson being offered. You will see minor details instead of the whole, and the whole truth is that if you stand in the light, you will cast a shadow. Without this recognition, you will find the journey toward wisdom a long and arduous one. Therefore, looking to this reversal as presenting you with the opportunity to look within and question what you fear hate or condemn in others, and deny or condemn within yourself. The darker aspects of your nature can often be your greatest teachers, and while the truths reveal, revealed may sometimes be harsh and uncomfortable, they bring with them the power to heal and empower. Use this time to get to know those aspects of your nature that you may pretend not to have noticed and see them in the light. Know them. Learn from them. See them change and become beautiful as your perspective shifts. They are all a part of the divine and human being that is within you. Wow. I mean, especially with this connected with this card, um, all about seeing the different perspectives and accepting that, you know, everybody can be wrong sometimes and we all have to be willing to take part in the blame game, but also take part in the let's fix it game. And that's what Virgo is doing today. So Virgo, I admire you. I think this is amazing. I think this reading was, was very significant. And it gives me hope. 
because if some if someone like you can do this then why can't why can't I why can't others right I wish you all the best I am going to end this here I hope that you got gained some clarity out of this reading I hope that you got something out of it and more than anything at all <laughs> more than anything at all I hope that you join me again take care care Virgo and have a wonderful November bye